Hey, what up, legends? How's it going? Kiwi and Bacon here. Another day, another deck, and today I have for you something absolutely fantastic. It's a mid-range hunter. It was uh, created by a player named um, Slotcraft, and it is posted on Heartpawn. I'll put a link in the description so you guys could go check that out. But it is beautiful. It is not the traditional mid-range hunter. It doesn't have high mains or anything like that. It plays around the Lesser Emerald Spellstone. Um, that's definitely the best card in this deck. You have a whole bunch of secrets. You have a whole bunch of early game with your alley cats and the new dire mole, which is one of my favorite. Um, and uh, flanking strike, which is great removal. So we're going to give this a try on the ladder. Hopefully it works well and we manage to seal a couple games with it. And um, yeah, have high hopes for this. If you guys enjoy, you could leave a like. And um, oh yeah, I didn't want to mention... Uh, $100 card pack giveaway next couple of days. It's happening soon. Um, you need to subscribe to the channel to participate in that. I'm going to put more information about it in the description. But you have your opportunity of winning uh, some more card packs to finish your collection. Uh, so, good luck to everyone. Be subscribed though. You can only win if you are. This is a great opening hand. Oof. Oof. This is good. Oof, this is good. I'm keeping everything. It's called... Oh, just like Roman. Hi, Roman. Thank you for your sub, buddy. All right. Um, yeah, so it's called Alley Cat, Coin Daramol, and then next turn, Crackling Razor Maw. Oh, boy, yeah. I'm going to put the Daramol in between both of them. All right. That's good. This is an excellent target for the uh, Crackling. I mean... Oh yeah, big time. Big money. Okay, no secrets yet. I did draw the best card in the deck, so that's good. It's right here. Plus one, plus one. Sounds good. So now I have a one mana, two, four. I like me some of that. Jade Blossom. Oh, buddy. Your deck might be a little slow here. Alright. Let's go ahead. Animal Companion. Oh. I guess I'll just do that. Go face. Put him down to 17. And then next turn, what we're going to do is Cloak Tundras into Wandering Monster. We're going to buff out the Lesser Emerald Spellstone. Just like so. Wandering Monster. We're going to trade this here for an effective trade. Then we're going to go face. Put him down to 11. He's not completely in trouble yet. I mean, he already has 7 mana. He could have Bone Mares. He could have a couple other things. But, I mean, I, I put him pretty low here. So that's really good. Oh, yeah, and he doesn't have anything to deal with it, so. I mean, he could have a swipe. Does not seem to be the case. I think the final nail in the coffin was is going to be the uh, Emerald Spellstone there. There's just so much value to be had. That's 9-9 nine, nine worth of stats put on the board. When he only has one minion and he doesn't have swipe. That's pretty good. Oh, come on. Seriously? Okay. Sure. That definitely helped him out. A Eagle Horn Bow, that's some damage for me. Um, nine, I've got nine plus two. That's 11. He, ha he is at 12. If I manage to get plus 3... Yeah, there's a good chance I actually finish him like this. Yes. Okay. There we go. Alright, I was like, if, if I get plus 3 attack or win fury, I just win the game. Flat out. Pretty good. That was a good game. I'm, I'm happy about this. Alright. 
We haven't seen we haven't seen much of the deck. The game was really really short, but in the deck, the newest cards in the deck are um, the Dire Mole. You have Wandering Monster, the new secret, which is really good. Um, we also have Flanking Strike and uh, the newest Lesser Emerald Spellstone. And let's be honest, it's definitely one of my favorite. I'm gonna keep it because it's the best card in the deck. What's going to happen right now is we're going to play the Alley Cat on turn one. What a sneeze. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, he's playing a quest priest. That's different. That's not something I've seen in a while. I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I'm going to coin out my Huntress and both of my secrets. The value is ridiculous. Turn 3, Bear Shark. Um, I don't have a turn 4 anymore, but... You know, that's fine. <laughs> Bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Okay. Huh? Huh? Nope. Okay, cool. Oh, another bear shark. Oh, that gives me another good turn three. Uh, turn four in this case. Okay, so you do make the trade here so he doesn't kill the bear shark flat out. Um, so that's a little bit more difficult for him to deal with. And you clear with the huntress. Play another bear shark. Alright. Yes, you're giving him a card, but that's okay. And then next turn, you know, Greater Emerald spell stuff. Hopefully he kills something or he puts something down so I can trade or whatever. But, um, yeah, the, just, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just like this. Then you play the Greater Emerald Spellstone. Then you just smack the guy in the face. And maybe he just loses here. Maybe. The board is way big. Dragon Fire Potion still is a thing. Psychic Scream is not a thing. Until 7 mana. So I'm not scared. At the moment. I have a lot of damage on the board. It's at least 17. Plus my hero power. So. We can put him down to one, shall we? Yes, we shall. There we go. Did you just lose, buddy? Did uh, the Emerald Spellstone just destroy you? I would have to believe so. A one mana? Okay. I mean, you could clear the board, I think. Or is it just two damage? I don't remember. Ah, it's two. Yes. Not exactly lethal. F uh, lethal. Not exactly board clear, but yeah. So yeah. So that y y see, see this. Do you see this? This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And I love it. I I love the new mid range hunter. It round. I like secrets, and it revolves around secrets. So it makes my day when I actually manage to win a game like this. It's so cool. I'm going to play a quick last game here. Um, just to just to actually, you know, maybe we can get into a, uh, a win streak. That'd be sweet. Maybe I can show a win streak with the deck. Playing against a Paladin. Paladins, uh, at the moment, at the moment, Paladins are notorious for, for having ridiculous aggressive decks. Okay, so we're going to have to be careful. I have seen like two paladins so far in the last two days, and they they both had very very good decks. So we'll we'll try to be careful. I'm gonna play my dire mole first because I can razor mod on top of that, make it way better. Doesn't have it one a turn one. Okay, that's good for me. 
I will get the plants. The plants are good because if he is playing aggressive, then I have uh, two more 1-1s one -one to deal with his stuff with. So that's good. Bring it on, buddy. Bring it on. Now, in this case, with the 1-1s, one -ones, it would have been better if I had Alley Cat on the board, but... Um, because I could, you know, you can trade it in a easier fashion, but I guess that's okay. Animal companion. All right, now it's easier to kill. That's good. Okay, so I can clear that off, and then I can get my one ones. As he's playing aggressive, he played Kalisat, so he definitely is playing aggressive deck. Um, I don't know if he has consecration in his aggressive deck. Or not. That's an interesting... That's an interesting... Body there that you have. Oh, crap. Well, I mean... Okay, I'll play the Cloaked Huntress. I'll also play Alley Cat. I guess I'll just fill my board with 1-1s. One <laughs> If he does have Consecration, however, I'm going to be in a very bad position. <laughs> very, very bad. But from what I've heard, that's not something they run currently. He's going to have to take some trades. He's going to kill my 2-1, my Leoc, and then he's probably... I don't know what else he's going to do. Oh, he's killing the Huntress. Or at least he's trying to kill the Huntress. He's attacking into the Huntress, but he also has to kill Leoc. Because if he does it, he's taking 10 damage. That's way too much. Okay, okay, he still kills it. Uh, that was actually pretty good for him. Alright, let's go Bear Shark. Hero Power. Run him down with little dudes. Little dudes. It's pretty good. Again, this deck is fantastic against anything that's not Shaman or or Warlock. Warlock would be terrifying against this. I mean, you, you'd, you'd probably lose, like, instantly. Um, so, I can put him one off. Yeah, that was one off. Snap. Snap. Okay. I had to count I had to recount there. I was like, oh man. Smuggler's run, okay, that's a buff on that. And then you have eat Stonehill. I mean you're still dead. You're still very dead. I mean that's just what the deck does. Oh maybe you're not dead. Yeah. Oh, no, you're still very dead. There we go. Alright. Win streak. Hey, I mean, this is probably not... I'm not going to say it's the best hunter, but I can t definitely tell you right now, mid-range hunter is still very much a thing, and with the new tools they've got, it is still a threat, so I am very, very happy this is working out. Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this every day. And, of course, participating in the giveaway. I'll be out uh, streaming uh, the rest of the day. And uh, apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.